HIV has presented scientists with one of the most complex biochemical puzzles in the history of modern medicine. Efforts to develop a vaccine have been painstaking, frustrating and very slow. But now the initial results of a small-scale study in South Africa are offering hope. Well, I think if we reduce HIV acquisition significantly, substantially, you really do start to talk about being able to reduce the, the risk that somebody could become infected with HIV, uh, which really speaks to you know, populations having far less HIV being transmitted around, um, and ultimately getting a handle on control. Researchers say the seven-year journey to this moment began in Thailand, where a test vaccine first showed promise. It proved effective in helping study participants fight off the HIV virus before it could take hold, reducing infections by up to 60% in the first year. For South Africa, the vaccine was adapted to deal with a more prevalent HIV strain. The initial results of the small-scale study there indicate a potential for success and prevention even beyond the Thai study. I work in areas where young women are unbelievably at risk for HIV acquisition. Uh, you know, communities where if you take 100 women for 12 months, up to 10 of them will have, have contracted HIV within that 12-month period. If we can find something that can be, you know, administered once off, twice off, maybe even three or four doses, but once, you know, done, that is incredibly empowering. One of the major funders of this research, the U.S. National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, says it's time for a large-scale test of the vaccine and it's planning to enrol some 54,000 men and women at high risk of contracting HIV for a South African trial to begin by November. It's being conducted by the HIV Vaccine Trials Network. Dr. Glenda Gray is the network's principal investigator. Um, it, it should give the world great hope. It should give the, the world um, courage that scientists are committed to finding an HIV vaccine and that we, we, we're on to the next step. We, we're climbing this, this stairwell and we're getting there, we're getting to the top. The most recent data available from the UN shows that nearly 37 million people around the world carried the HIV virus in 2014 and that more than one million people die from the disease each year. Officials here tell me that they've already begun discussing ways in which a future approved vaccine based on this work could be administered in South Africa and also ways in which the current vaccine could be adapted to tackle other strains of HIV around the world. Daniel Wrenches, CCTV, Washington.